In today's video, I'll show you some of the powerful functions of Melodyne for finding alternative melodies, chords, or voice leadings. So, let's dive right in. In Melodyne, you can open the key track here, or with the corresponding key command. And the chord track opens here. Next, let's customize the note background. Start with the piano roll style, for example, as you know it from MIDI sequences that imitate the black and white keys of a piano. Or switch to key and have white lanes for the pitches that match the key of the song, and gray lanes for those that are out of key. However, you can still move notes to any pitch on both the gray and white lanes. That's because the snap is still set to chromatic. But now switch to key snap, and all the gray lanes will be skipped. This means that you will only reach pitches that match the key of your composition. Now let's further narrow down where notes can be snapped by switching from key to chord. Now the pattern of white and gray lanes varies from chord to chord, because white now means that the note is part of the current chord, and all the gray ones are not. For example, the note E is part of an A minor or E minor chord, so the E is on a white lane, but an E does not belong to the chords G major, Jesus II, or D, so the corresponding lane is gray when these chords are played. As long as you keep snap turned on now, every action you do will result in notes that perfectly match the composition. This cuts down a lot of trial and error and is a big boost to your workflow. Thanks for watching. Bye.